Cryo SEM is the technique that allows users to image wet or beam sensitive samples in as close to their lifelike state as possible. It eliminates a lot of the effects you get when you're using chemical fixation or cryo CPD. Um, it allows you to image delicate structures which are often stripped off by all these chemical processes. You can do time-lapse imaging by regular periods of freezing and then imaging your sample. Uh, you can fracture the sample to reveal internal structure and if you're looking at things like lithium battery components which are very beam sensitive, you can eliminate a lot of the beam damage. The Quora MPP3010 that you can see in the background here is an on-column gas-cooled uh, cryo preparation system. It uses an off-column dual which gives you a very long hold time. And the advantage of using gas cooling is that it can get to very low temperatures. Any part of the system can get down to at least minus 190 degrees C. This, if you compare it to a braid cooled system, they are very, very limited in temperature they can reach and only get to about minus 145 degrees. And this is really a problem when you want to do cryofib lift out or working with TEM lamella. Braid cooling, you've got a huge amount of copper there you have to cool down. This takes a long, long time, up to three hours to cool down. There's a huge inertia there, so changing the temperature is very difficult. It takes a long time to warm up as well. Um, you've got to be very careful where you root those braids within the microscope chamber, because if they touch anywhere, you get a huge heat leak. By using gas cooling, it doesn't matter if the pla glass, uh, plastic tubes touch anywhere in the microscope. It has very little effect on your final temperature. Also with braid cooling, you need to have your dewer mounted on the column, which again, then limits the size, limits your hold time. Whereas when you use gas cooling with an off-column dew, you can run for days. The advantage of using an on-column system is the speed that you can actually prepare your samples and prepare, do all the preparation that you need to do in coating, fracturing, sublimation and so on. You do one airlock operation and your sample is into high vacuum immediately and never leaves that high vacuum. If you use an off-column system, you're continually doing airlock operations transferring between your different preparation areas and there's always the risk there of contamination. The Quorum Cryo is, is fully PC controlled. A lot of the functions are fully automated. The gas flow control is controlled by a PID loop. We use pure gas flow. We don't use any heaters to set the temperature. And we achieve a temperature stability of something like 0.15 degrees C variation over a four hour period. The system comes with its own preparation area, which also supports the PC and has its own integrated slusher, which allows you to load pre-frozen samples very easily and very simply. It also means that you don't need an extra desk to do any preparation work in the laboratory. The PP3010 has been demonstrated on many different microscopes to have excellent drift performance and also a very good high resolution imaging capability. The system comes with a CCD camera fitted to the preparation chamber and this allows you to take images of your sample maybe before you fracture it and after you fracture it. These can all be dumped to a USB disk and using the ports. Because it's also gas cooled using plastic tubing, it means that we can run to full 5 kV stage bias capability with no problems with electronics. Because the system is controlled by a touchscreen PC, all the parameters are continuously logged and saved to the hard drive. And also, if we can get an internet connection, we can actually run the system remotely from the factory for training, diagnostics, and also software updates. For cryofib applications, then we're in process of developing a new cryorotate stage. This allows the temperatures of minus 180 degrees C at the sample to be achieved and gives you continuous 360 degree bi-directional rotation. This is very good when you're thinning lamella because once you have cut the first side of the lamella, in normal operation you're cutting blind to cut the other side. If you can rotate the sample by 180 degrees, you can then see the other side of the sample and make sure it hasn't got any curtaining or other artifacts. Once you've prepared your cryofib lamella and you've bonded it onto your um, lift-out grid, it is then very easy to transfer from the 3010 out to our loading station which can then be docked onto transfer devices from lots and lots of other different cryo imaging devices. For example, a cryo TEM, cryo Iontoff, and so on. 
Because the system is running with an off-column Dure, which on the latest incarnation is a 30-litre Dure, it means that we can run 24 hours at least at normal working temperatures without refilling any liquid nitrogen at all. The vacuum isolation is extremely efficient and we do not see any icing or frosting on any part of the system in normal operation. By refilling the Dewa, you can actually run for several days. In fact, we have customers who run for four and a half days doing a cryofib session. Because the system is controlled by the touchscreen PC, the automated startup process, which can be chosen by the user, steps the user through every single step of the process until he's ready to make a sample. So it'll pump the system down and it'll also run the uh, cooling to the set temperatures. When the user selects auto startup, they are guided through each step of the preparation process, including pump down and cool down. And when the system ready sign comes up, they are then ready to make their first sample. When they are preparing their sample, sublimation and sputter coating or carbon coating is controlled by recipes and is fully automated. So it is very quick and easy for the user to use the same process time after time or to recall those processes in a year's time and do exactly the same preparation on their sample as they did previously. Because samples can come in such a wide variety of forms, they could be liquids, they could be pastes, leaves, rocks, Quorum provides a full range of shuttles to allow you to mount any of these samples and transfer them into the SEM. If we don't have a suitable shuttle for your particular application, then we can always make you a custom one.